Welcome to the Curator's Corner, a Museum Monday on the first week of the virtual pilgrimage. I am Sarah Bowen, a park ranger at Manzanar National Historic Site. I am also a collateral duty museum assistant. In the National Park Service, one of the ways we preserve America's stories is to preserve the items that represent them. We are grateful that many people have chosen to donate their family items to Manzanar to preserve them, to honor the past, and to educate present and future generations. This week's theme is immigration and arrival histories. I'm going to share an item donated by the Yamada family in 2006. This may seem like a simple basket. In and of itself, it may not be worth very much, but the story it tells is priceless. It tells a story of fear and courage, of holding onto a part of you when so many things that mean so much to you must be left behind. Tamizo Yamada was born on June 12, 1885 in Kanagawa, Ken, Japan. He came to San Francisco on June 23, 1913 as a student on his way to Chicago. Aiko Muto was born in Tokyo on November 21, 1894. Tamizo and Aiko were married in Tokyo in 1917. Their daughter, Lily Yuriko Yamada, was born in Tokyo on July 26, 1918. But Tamizo had left for the United States again and arrived in San Francisco in December 1917 leaving Aiko in Tokyo during her pregnancy and the birth of their first child. She then ventured across the Pacific with her two-year-old daughter in 1920. As she packed for the unknown to join her husband in the United States, she took out this wicker basket and placed her silk wedding kimono inside. She bundled up her daughter and held this basket as she walked onto the Siberia Meru in special third class on October 24th, 1920. Aiko and Lily Eriko Yamada arrived in the United States on November 9, 1920. We don't know very much about their journey. Was Aiko homesick? Did she and her child get seasick? How did Aiko comfort her little daughter? Was Tamizo at the dock to meet their new daughter for the first time? By 1930, the Yamada family had grown and Tamizo was a gardener in West Los Angeles. By 1940, the family was six children strong and Tamizo owned his own nursery on Granville Avenue. Then everything changed. In the spring of 1942, Aiko Yamada was about to embark on another trip to the unknown. She didn't know what her future would bring or how her family would fare. She turned again to her basket. Fearful that her wedding kimono might seem too Japanese to the US government and be confiscated, she carefully cut it into strips and hid it in her wicker basket. Lily remembers her mother crying as she used a razor to cut the silk. As Aiko gathered her children, ranging in age from five to 22 years old, she also picked up her basket, still holding the dreams of her life inside as she waited to be transported to the unknown of far off Manzanar. The tag she placed on her basket still remained. The Yamada family were assigned, assigned Block 24, Barrack 8, Apartment 3. Young Cherry Ueda Yamada remembers that this was the last time their large family would live together. Lily and her siblings found jobs and education in the Midwest. Cherry and her younger brother Michio headed back to Los Angeles at the end of the war with their parents. Again, Aiko carried her basket and her kimono silk on a journey to the unknown. Tamizo never got his nursery back. He passed away in 1952. Aiko and Lily, however, lived to see the passage of the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1952. Lily Eriko Yamada, just two years old when she ventured across the ocean with her mother, naturalized as a US citizen in 1953. Aiko Muro Yamada, who carried the, that little girl and her wedding kimono with her on her immigration journey, naturalized in 1954. This may seem like a simple basket. In and of itself, it may not be worth very much, but the story it tells is priceless. It tells the story of fear and courage, of holding on to a part of you when so many things that mean so much to you must be left behind. In 2018, just before her 100th birthday, Lily Eriko Yamada made, came to Manzanar to visit her basket one more time. It certainly means something special to her. Thank you for joining us for this week's Curator's Corner. You can learn more about Manzanar National Historic Site through our website, our Facebook and Instagram accounts, 
and our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you can contact me, Sarah Bone, via email.